The Friday prayer, Salat al-Jumu'ah, is a special congregational prayer that Muslims hold on Fridays instead of the regular Dhuhr prayer on that day. Unlike other daily prayers, the Friday prayer includes two sermons delivered by the Imam, which covers religious teachings, moral guidance, and sometimes addresses current issues. After the sermons, a two rak'ah prayer is performed in congregation instead of four rak'ahs. Some conditions must be met for the Friday prayer to be valid. Number one, the time for the prayer must have set in. The Friday prayer begins the same time as the regular Dhuhr prayer. Number two, there shouldn't be another Friday prayer being held within the distance of one farsakh, which is around 3.4 miles or 5.5 kilometers. If two Friday prayers start at the same time within this distance, both are invalid. However, if one starts before the other, the earlier one is valid and the later one is invalid. 3. There must be an Imam who meets the necessary conditions, like being sane, just, and at the age of Islamic maturity, etc. After the Adhan of prayer, the Imam must stand up and deliver the first sermon before the prayer. It is recommended for the Imam to recline on some support while giving the sermon. In the first sermon, the Imam must praise and glorify Allah, give a speech such as encouraging the people to be mindful of God, and also recite a short chapter from the Quran. Then he must sit down briefly for a short time. During this time, the congregation usually performs salawat. They praise the Holy Prophet and his family while the Imam is sitting. Now the Imam must stand back up and deliver the second sermon. He must again praise and glorify Allah, invoke blessings upon the Holy Prophet and his family, and as a recommended precaution, seek forgiveness for the believers. Based on obligatory precaution, he must praise Allah and invoke blessings upon the Holy Prophet and his family in the Arabic language. However, saying other parts of the sermon in Arabic is not a requirement, such as encouraging the people to be mindful of God. It is not obligatory to be present at the time of the Imam's sermons. If you are present, talking while the Imam is delivering the sermons is makruh, not recommended. And if it prevents others from listening to the sermons, then based on obligatory precaution, it is not permitted. Also, based on obligatory precaution, listening to the two sermons is obligatory. However, it is not obligatory for those who do not understand the sermons to listen to them. After the sermons, the iqama of prayer is recited and the imam and the followers get ready to pray. A second adhan is not to be performed. The prayer has to be performed in congregation. The number of people praying must be at least five, including the imam. If there are less than five people, the prayer does not become obligatory. Some have said seven people is a requirement. Once all this has been established, the Imam makes his intention. His intention is to pray two rak'ahs of Salat al-Jumu'ah, wajiban qurbatan ilallah, seeking nearness to Allah. In the same way, the follower should also make an intention that, I am praying two rak'ahs for the Friday prayer behind this Imam, wajiban qurbatan ilallah. Then the Imam performs Takbirat al-Ihram, Allahu Akbar. The followers follow the same rules as congregational prayers. The Imam then recites Surah Al-Fatiha and another complete Surah in the first Raka'ah. Though it is recommended for the Imam to recite Surah Al-Jumu'ah after Surah Al-Fatiha in the first Raka'ah. Now before going to Ruku'ah, it is recommended to perform the Qunut and recite a Dua. After the qunut, everyone performs the rukua and the two sajdas. Now everyone should get back up for the second rak'ah. The imam will recite surah al-fatiha and another complete surah. It is recommended for the imam to recite surah al-munafiqun after surah al-fatiha in the second rak'ah. Now everyone performs the rukua. After the rukua, everyone should stand up straight now it is recommended to perform a second qunut with a dua. The qunut in the first rak'ah was before performing ruku'ah. The second qunut in the second rak'ah is after performing ruku'ah. 
Now everyone should perform the two sajdas and finish the prayer by reciting the tashahud and taslim. If the follower joins the prayer in the second rak'ah before the imam goes to ruku'ah, the prayer is still in order. But this will be the follower's first rak'ah, so the follower must perform the extra rak'ah they missed. However, if a follower joins in ruku'ah or after ruku'ah in the second rak'ah, then based on obligatory precaution, they must perform dhuhr prayers instead. According to both Shia and Sunni schools of thought, the Friday prayer is obligatory, wajib. However, the main opinion of the Shia school of thought is that the prayer is wajib al takhiri This means that in the presence of an infallible Imam, such as Imam al Mahdi السلام, or a deputy appointed by him, the prayer is obligatory. In the absence of Imam al Mahdi السلام, or his deputy, a person has the choice to either perform the Friday prayer or the Dhuhr prayer. However, if given the choice, the Friday prayer is considered more rewarding. The Friday prayer is not obligatory for the following. Women, slaves, travelers, the sick, the blind and the old, those who are more than 11 kilometers in distance from a place of Friday prayer, those who find it difficult to attend on account of rain, severe cold and similar things.